Hi, it's Margaret here. <laughs> How are you going? I'm just painting late at night. I'm doing a landscape here. Let's pull you back a bit. I'm doing a landscape of, um, it's called Monero Grasslands. I'm actually making it up. Can you believe that I'm sort of got a composition of a few different things and pieces and kind of making it up as I go along, which is quite, um, quite unusual. I'm working with uh, a paint called Schminky Acrylics. Uh, it's uh, quite expensive. These start about oh, around $25 a tube here in Australia. Uh, they're German, a German brand, Schminky. Uh, what I have found is that I need a lot less paint and it really is quite vibrant. You can see there's a lot of colour in this um, in this landscape. Uh, and that's because of this paint. I, I attribute it to, I tend to paint a little bit brighter with this paint. Uh, you may or may not like that, but I really like the, the colour intensity that's coming through. And uh, so it's, um, it's uh, now I'll just turn that around a little bit there. Uh, it's, yeah, it's quite, quite incredible. So I've been reusing this palette, so not all that paint is alive, but I've just kind of got a half a dozen colours there, or maybe a few more. But uh, you can see I've only just got little little dabs like like that. You know, just that's, um, this is a new blue, uh, this one here. It, I, I just had to try it. It's uh, $73 for that little tube. Uh, that I sell it for called Ying Ying Min Blue Ying Yin M N Blue. It's um must be the new blue that was talked about recently. I don't see anything terribly special about it, but I quite like it. I have been adding it as I'm going, and um it, it's, it kind of sits in there, and it's an interesting um color. I've used a bit in, in the water and, and a little bit into the grasses, but, um, oops, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of finding it a little interesting, but I don't think it's worth $73, so I'm just giving it a, a try, really, more than anything. So um, the story is on this painting is I sold um, a big piece that was designated for the Rollies to show, which is a bigger, um, you know, a bigger big art show, I suppose. 500,000 people are supposed to go through that art show and that's why I sort of try and go in it. Um, and it's just a, uh, just a something to achieve or to strive for. I, th I encourage all my students to go into some of these shows as well. And I'm going up with a ute load of paintings from various people on uh, Friday. So I haven't got a lot of time, I've got less than a week to paint this. And um, so I've sold the one that was supposed to go and now I'm trying to make up another one to, uh, to go in, in its place. So, but tomorrow, and I'm working late tonight, I'll do a bit and have a good night's sleep and then I'll work on it tomorrow. I have a gallery and I have a shop and I do classes, but I have nothing tomorrow. I'm shut, Mondays I'm closed, so I can designate the day for this. Um, because I've been painting for quite a few years, I guess I'm relatively quick these days. When I have a moment of time, I can paint fairly quickly. I really know what I'm doing. There's no mucking around. Although, you know, sometimes I've got to move things like these um, fence posts, which is just out of your picture there, a little bit there. The fence post I sort of did have to move. It was coming too far this way, and it didn't make sense. So I've, I've actually made it so the fence stops there, because... Otherwise, it just wouldn't be right that the fence line would, would cut off the water. So that just wouldn't make sense um, as a fa from the farming perspective, I suppose. So I've made, I'm have made i going to put some wires here and, and make the fence go that way and this be a junction. And I know that it might, it might not be necessary, but I had to, it had to make a bit of sense to me why, you know. But um, anyway. That's just one of the problems to sort out. But um, I'm just uh, I'm being a bit of a free-range chook, but sometimes you've just got to think about how a farmer would, would make his pad paddocks. This is probably, um, a, I'm probably going to put in uh, some wild brumbies in here, which is a bit of a contentious issue. Um, 
up up in the high country um, because there's a yeah, yeah the, the the brumbies are not natural part of the environment and they're destroying a lot of the bogs where the frog where the special um, unique frogs are endangered species are and they're destroying sort of um, habitat for the for the frogs little marshy wetlands and um, and yet there's this iconic man from snowy river thought behind the horses and horses are beautiful animals as well so it's a it's a real um, dilemma really is so um, there's um, uh, yeah there's a real divide in these in these country towns about what to do with them now yeah I just thought I'd um, show you what I'm doing and what I'm working on at the moment and it's a nice big canvas and I'll get back to it so have a good night I'll keep going see ya